Hello everyone. So today I am going to address critical issues or rather improvements that I have in the system. Uh, so first thing is here. If I equip a collective sword and equip it first. So earlier before I solve in this issue, when I collect a sword, it goes to the back of the character. So, but now it automatically goes to the hand of the character so that we can start using the shield right away so here if i collect the sword and if i collect the shield without equipping the sword it is attached to the back of the character as it should so yeah that's one thing the other thing is now if i press attack button without first equipping any weapons the character will first equip and do an attack right away that's the next thing i want to solve and also there was a issue where the character goes to the crouch mode when the auto soft clock is activated that is also fixed in this episode so the auto equip when i press attack is also working with the great sword as well all right so those are the things that i'm going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page so if you like to support my work or if you just want to access the projects feel free to join the patreon club and also not just this project you can download there are thousands of projects in my channel you can download all of them from the patreon page so also this is a part of this section rpg with game playability system series so you can watch all of the episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below okay so this is the first thing i want to resolve if i first collect the sword and equip it and if i go through the shield now it's added to the back of my character but i don't have a shield in my hand but still i can do blocking you see because i already have a shade so what i can do is what i want to do is if i have already equipped a weapon when i go through the shield it should be automatically equipped so it would feel natural for the player so how can we do that so actually this collecting shield is happening through this pp collectible shield blueprint which activates the this collect shield ability class so what it does is well this is a child of collect sword here what it does is it basically spawns the weapon and collect call collect weapon in using the weapon wielder on the owner actor so this is implemented in the character class so here we can open the character class and here this is the function that is that basically attach the sword or shield whatever the given weapon into the character sword will go into this uh, into the attack will be attached to hip area and the shield will be attached to the back great sword is attached to the back so uh, how can we automatically make it attach to the character's hand so what we can do is here after we collect a left side weapon oh let me collapse this because we're gonna have some more stuff here collect weapon. ok 
aquí. Alright, now we go inside. Here, if a weapon is already equipped, there are some tags that are added to the character. So we can check it. Let me get a reference to our ability system. Has any matching gameplay tags? And we can check these tags here weapons dot sword dot equipped. So for now, that's the only tag I need to check if we have different types of weapons and we we need to add them here as well so now if this is true if this is true we would have to attach it to the hand so that means here in the equip weapon this is the equip weapon uh, event here we attach if we have a left weapon we attach to hand so basically we need to re-execute this part so i'll convert this to a macro uh, let's call it equip weapon L. now so as you, this equip weapon l we can just simply call this macro because there are no any other gameplay tags or anything associated with equipping the weapon L. so so we can just call this so what I can I'm gonna do is here equip weapon L. let's call it now let's see equip the sword and if I go through you can see instead of the back the sword is already in the hand of the character and we can start uh, blocking right away all right that's one thing uh, other thing is here if i already have a weapon and if i press attack button for now nothing happens but I what but what I want to do is if I press the attack button character should if the weapon is not already equipped character should equip the weapon and do an attack so how do I do that let's again go to the character and light attack is here so here we can check if this ability is executed if not we can call or activate the ability to equip weapon mm. so here is the input action which makes characters equip weapons so let me just copy this part here basically we activate input dot weapon dot equip using this tag just use this tag and try to activate that ability so uh, let's go here i think it would be better if i collapse this part also right attack now let me paste if this is false we can activate the ability to equip then if this is successful let's wait let's say 0.5 seconds and then again activate this ability which is light attack
Okay. So now here if I press you see character equip the sword and do an attack right away. I'm not pressing equip weapon button. Right. So what if I press and hold so the heavy attack is not happening that's because I didn't do this part so we have to do that part also so I'll simply replicate the same part of code just like this okay now we should be able to do a heavy attack as well just by pressing and holding yeah great Red and the shield part is already there all right let's test with the shield here instead of without pressing equip button I am pressing the right tag button right away and it is working let me test with the great sword as well yeah okay wait I did notice something click oh it becomes a heavy attack why is that all right here wait 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 this is wrong instead I should have activated this I should have done this part um, before the delay so that would mean here we can have a sequence and do it like this but now let's test yeah that's correct it's not automatically doing the attack Oh, and the other thing I need to fix is this. So here, we worked on, uh, we fixed a bug that makes the character go into crouch mode uh, when we enter the locked on mode. So that actually not, that is not correct. Uh, because let's say, what if, I'm running and I don't really want to go into crouch mode here so earlier the only re uh, the re only reason to do that was here in this soft lock we just need to uh, update the character's speed instead of directly updating it like this we just need to, to update it through this set moment mode for replication purposes now that I have seen this issue, what we can do is this. We can get moment mode of the character and then we can select this moment mode based on the current moment mode that means if the character is already crouching well we can go to crouch mode if walking walk speed is fine if running you can walk sprinting also walk because uh, when the character is locked on they can't run right no 
let's test now the character will not automatically go to crouch mode okay this is much better okay so i think that's all i want to do in this episode all right so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work consider joining the patreon club you will have access to everything so yeah see you in the next episode goodbye